It is quite fitting that the theme of this year's World Humanitarian Day is One Humanity. As I speak to you today, there are some 65 million persons displaced worldwide. An unprecedented number of people are being forced to migrate to escape war, poverty, climate change, and persecution. Once displaced, they continue to live with severe deprivation and discrimination. Displacement is increasingly protracted, lasting on the average 17 years and in conflict-related contexts, 23 years. The humanitarian system is simply overwhelmed by the number and scale of humanitarian emergencies and conflicts. I truly believe that addressing and resolving displacement through innovative solutions and investments can yield beneficial opportunities for these populations. We can engage with the private sector to promote and to restore sustainable development pathways. However, finding solutions for displaced populations is not enough. We must address displacement at its source. We must prevent the conditions that force families to abandon their homes and livelihoods. This is undeniably a huge task and not one that a single humanitarian agency or even all humanitarian actors combined can resolve on their own. We all know that it is possible for humanity to come together. At the first ever World Humanitarian Summit in May, we saw the global community come together. We saw them commit to continue supporting people affected by crisis and ensure that aid workers can safely and effectively deliver the assistance to those in need. We must all hold firm to what is working and remedy what is not.